अस्सलाम वालेकुम क्लास डे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव आवर एथ लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर फोर ट्रांसपोर्ट इन प्लांट्स आर टॉपिक्स फॉर टुडे इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ प्लांट स्टैम्प एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्लांट रूट वाटर एंटर्स द प्लांट मिनरल सॉल्ट एंटर द रूट बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ प्लांट स्टैम्प एवरी वन नोज अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ लिविंग प्लान सो इन अ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ लिविंग प्लान प्लान दे हैव रूट दे हैव स्टेम्स और ब्रांचेज लीव एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर समटाइम फ्लावर समटाइम कॉन्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स एंड सो ऑन सो मोस्ट प्लान आर वेस्क्यूलर विच मीन्स दे हैव अ सिस्टम ऑफ ट्यूब्यूल्स इन साइड दैम दैट कैरी न्यूट्रंस अराउंड द प्लान वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट अ सिंपल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अ प्लान uh now before before moving on to uh, the actual lecture let us know something uh, about the stem as well stems they usually uh, consist of three tissues okay number 1 is dermal tissues number 2 is gram tissue and number 3 is vascular tissue so vascular tissue we are going to talk about it vascular tissues provide long distance transport and structural support most of all gram tissue may be lost in a woody stem dermal tissue of aquatic plant stems may lack in the waterproofing found in the aerial stem see the diagram in a stem the vascular bundles are arranged near the edges of the stem so vascular bundles are arranged near the edges of the stem to help give the stem strength and to help it resist the bending force of the wind Transport in plants, the structure of a plant stem. Xylem and phloem cells are arranged in veins. What now is a vein? A vein is a vascular structure. Xylem and phloem cells are surrounded by the bundle sheath in a leaf that provides supports for the leaf and transport both water and food. Basically, veil is a vascular structure. Uh, in both xylem and phloem they are surrounded by the bundle sheath in a leaf so they are present in a leaf that provides support for the leaf they are not only is providing the support for the leaf but they are also transporting water and food xylem and phloem cells are arranged in veins or vascular bundles in the stem and leaves now what's a vascular bundle a vascular bundle is a part of the transport system in vascular plants the transport itself happens in vascular tissue so transportation happens in the vascular tissue which exist in two forms which is xylem and phloem so in stem the vascular bundles are arranged in a circular pattern just beneath the outer layer of the cells or the epidermis the vascular bundles contain many strong fibers and this helps to make the stem strong and able to withstand being bent by the strong wind we also written the xylem cell stem vessels stem cells also have reinforced cell walls and these help to support the weight of the plant so basically they are providing the support for the weight of the plant if you look at the diagram over here you see the phloem which is the upper part and the xylem the lower part the outer layer which is the epidermis this is the inner part is the cortex and inside all the stem it has a pith this is interfascular parenchyma this the difference between these two uh, and the entire is called the vascular bundle if we look again um, this is uh, the complete um, stem cell if we open the stem and see these parts so the outer layer is the epidermis the inside these small rounded structures are the cortex the phloem is the upper part and the interfascular parenchyma is the difference between these two and the xylem is the lower part and this entire thing is called the vascular bundle see from the book this is the stem in a stem the vascular bundles are arranged near the edges of the stem to help give them strength and to help it resist the bending forces of the wind so this is the phloem this is the xylem epidermis and the vascular bundle in order to get further understanding this is the primary phloem this is the primary xylem the difference between these two cells is the interfascular cambium 
the line between the cells is the vascular cambium and both these intrapascular cambium and the vascular cambium combines to form a vascular cambium this is the outer cortex and this is the epidermis and inside we have the pits structure of a plant root so first of all in roots the vascular plant the roots are the organs of a plant that typically lie below the surface of the soil roots can also be aerial or erecting that is growing above the ground or especially above water structure of a plant root in the root the xylem and phloem of the vascular bundles are in the center so as to resist these forces xylem carries water and mineral salts from the roots to the stem phloem brings food from the stem to the root providing the root providing the root cells with all the food substances they need for their energy and growth so xylem is basically carrying water and mineral salts from the root to the stem whereas phloem brings food from the stem to the root if we see a section through a plant root the xylem and phloem are in the center of the root to withstand the stretching forces when the stem is being blown about in the wind see a cross section of a root we have some parts like xylem phloem cortex pith phalogens and peliferous stratum so let's see one by one what their functions are and what they do so the cross section of a root axis of the plant which grows in the opposite direction from the stem maintain the plant in place and absorb nutrients peliferous stratum so what a peliferous stratum do set of cells of on the outer layer that carries the root hairs whereas the cortex part of the root that protects the pith so it is actually protecting the pith xylem is the woody part of the root whereas the phloem vessels through which sap circulates pith is the center of the root whereas the phalogen part of the root that produces the cork